Hello everybody, Terry Games is back with part two of Detroit Become Human. Hi, it's good to see you again. Great to start the weekend with Detroit. Unfortunately, I don't live in Detroit, but hey, it is the weekend after all. It's great to be back. Hello everybody. It's certainly been a while. I, I apologize for not being so consistent as of late. I have been very busy with my personal life. I still am, but I haven't forgotten about you guys. So today's a good day for some video uploading, don't you think? I think so. So let's kick off Detroit Become Human with some part two. Accessing the story chart. So our last part we were, we looked at the shades of color, the opening, and the hostage situation. So today we're going to look at a new home, the painter, and partners. That's going to be our part two for today. So let's get started. Now while this is loading, um, again, I am very um, sorry to everybody for, again, not being so consistent. Personal life has been taking its toll on me and I haven't re reached that potential yet, but I'm still trying. But at least I will be able to at least put up some videos for you guys today. Y'all forgotten from part one, Todd here, as we continue on in the story, has picked up this android named Kara. So, time to explore Kara's life story. Join Todd. Join Todd as we shall. Coming? Give me a minute. I can something over there. Looks like some sort of construction site happening going on over there. Rebuilt North Corktown. A better place to live in Detroit City. Well, again, I don't live in Detroit City. Personally, for me, I live in London, Ontario, Canada. But it's close enough to Detroit. It's a couple of hours ride down. And anyways, let's go and join Todd. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of God damn it, where the fuck's the rat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look oh, after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Okay. So we have to do some cleaning. First, let's do the optional tasks first and leave the urgent ones for last. So let's collect some dishes. To collect dishes first before I can wash anything. TV on. There they are. Hey, it's Alice. Yeah. 
Let's wash these dishes. Uh oh, dishwasher's not working. Man, it's cool how they can order stuff yeah, like yeah. that. that. Alright, we're gonna have to wash it by hand. Really, scrubbing dishes with a finger and mount a mouse pad. Or not mouse pad, a controller pad. Technology is sure a wonderful thing, isn't it? Well, there's Alice again. Hmm. Again, technology works out as wonders. Washing dishes with just the tip of a finger. If only life was like that. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. If only life was like that. Cleaning everything with just a finger tap. Life would be so much easier that way. Yeah, let's just grab this man a beer. Okay, so the dishes are washed. If I remember correctly, the vacuum cleaner had to be turned on. Now, check the backyard. Alice! You better stop that right now! Why is she always pushing me? She's pushing. She's a kid. Give her a break. Oh, take out some laundry, eh? Guess we're doing laundry. We're taking down some laundry. How do I do that? I gotta pick up the basket first? Oh, yep. Now I get the clothes. I don't want it to be a full cleaning episode for Kara. Oh. It's Alice again. Let's see if we can try and talk to her. Um. Let's see if she wants to play a game. I know little girls like to play, or not little girls, I know little kids like to play a game. Or, yeah. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? That got her attention. Um. Uh, game, so. Let's mention the backyard, or. Uh, yeah, backyard. You like playing out here? No, oh, I tried. Oh, I'll try again later. There's an opportunity. As for now, let's do some laundry. Need some stuff, you know that. What's in the heck is in here? Uh oh. That looks like drugs. Red ice. Drugs. Oh shit. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd.
I guess we kind of understand when, with what, what Alice is meaning when she's being so distant. I think we have an abusive father situation, folks. I should say it now, I guess. Kids, if you're watching this, parental discretion is advised. I highly recommend that. Anyways. Let's clean the kitchen. Take out the garbage now. Okay, the counter. Now the kitchen. Now this crap. Jeez, Todd, you're one lazy fuck. Fucking work for you. What a lazy ass. What do we have here? Uh oh, looks like Mr. Todd has been rejected for some credit cards. He has some overdrawn accounts. That ain't good. He owes some money. He's even lazier than I thought he was. Can't even pay fucking bills. Probably be paying for his drugs other than his fucking bills. Alright, let's go back in the house. The bus. I was gonna see that. I was going to go in the house, but I seen the bus, so I was like, hey, it's the bus. And now we can go back in the house. Now I guess report to Todd, I guess. There's Alice again. Poor little girl. All right, now what do you want, Todd? I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Okay, Jesus, man, fuck. So I guess you're going upstairs now. Let's clean the lousy asshole's room first. Tidying. Jesus, this guy's so lazy. Uh oh, antidepressants. Undepressant. Oh, sh oh, a gun. Make the bed. There's Alice again. Hey, this guy's so fucking messy everywhere. What is he, a fucking kid? Living in an adult body? Jeez. Fuck's sakes. Anything else to do in here? Is that it? Clean the mess. There's more of a mess? I thought I cleaned all the mess. Where is there more of a mess? Where? I don't see a mess. Oh. Papers. Paperwork.
What are you looking at? They're not going to show us? Okay. Last but not least, let's ventilate the room. Now let's get the heck out of here. I don't feel safe in here. Hey! Dummy? What gives? Why are you shoving people around? I gotta clean the bathroom that you just freaking used. Disgusting. Yeah, she could even tell she wasn't impressed with that. Another bathroom to clean? Holy man. Beer bottles. Dirty clothes. Unorganized stuff. Dirty dishes. Dirty garbage everywhere. Doesn't even mop the floor in the bathroom. What is wrong with this fucking guy? He ain't a dad. Well, again. Technology had his wonders. Now I can use a fingertip just to mop the floor. If only life was like that. You swipe the fingertip, you can mop the floor. Oh. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in Wonderland. Of course. <laughs> of course. It's freaking Alice in Wonderland, and her name's Alice, of course. Alright. Take it easy. Probably know what you're going through after what I just did, went through, so... I don't blame you a little bit, little girl. Now yeah, ventilate her room. Ooh, another... Dialogue. Oh, talk to Alice. Okay. Let's try again. Well, let's see. I'll try to be as friendly as like this as possible. So, I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Nah. Yeah. Um I know she brought up her name, that Kara, that she named her Kara. Your father said you chose my name. Kara? It's nice. How did you choose it? Hmm. Well, I'll see if she'll save her interests. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Oh. You're a very quiet little one, aren't you? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Oh, don't go away. No. Oh, wait a minute. What was that all about? Key. Maybe it's for this? A.W. Treasure. Oh. What do we have in here? Well, I'll be damned. She's got a four-leaf clover in that box. Wow. I love those four leaves. Okay, this must be the family. It must be Alice. It must be Todd. And who's that? That must be the mom. Doesn't look like Kara. Must have been the mom. Oh. 
Aw, she drew some pictures. Uh-oh. That must be Todd. Oh my god, I was afraid of this and wouldn't happen. It is that situation. Oh no. Kara knows now what happened. to do. Everything's done, so I guess we'll go back downstairs and see what's going on. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. Play. I know what you're thinking. It's like your dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Or whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Well, come on, man. It's your damn kid. Let him fucking down. God. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. You've got to get Alice out of that situation. Man, what a huge way to start off part two for Detroit Become Human. I am sorry about that, guys. Ah, I guess some stories get aggressive, especially with this one. In any case, that's it with Kara for now. Hopefully we figure out what happens next time. Well, let's continue on to the story. See who's next. We have painters. Painters. Ah, Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus is up next. Alright, let's explore the life of Marcus. See what Marcus is all about. I gotta say, he's doing pretty damn good for himself. not what I think it is, is it? Um, it can't be. Oh, what's this over here? If anybody can know what this animal is, can you please let me know in the comments section below? That would be really helpful. I don't know what this animal is. If you do, that would be fantastic. Oh my god, I think it is that situation. Is Mark is a hometown caregiver? An android caregiver. Man, this breaks my heart. Personally, for for me, back a few years ago, I used to be a long-time caregiver to my mother before she got sick with Huntington's disease. Unfortunately, wasn't able to take care of her anymore because she got too sick. She's still alive, thank God, with us today. But she's still wow. I hope it's what it looks like. It's been right so far. Good morning, Good morning. Carl. It is. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 
80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Nah. I Mark. did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes. Mark, it's the caregiver. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? I love it. You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Hit. Carl. Come on. Thank you. I just opened my eyes. I'm already gritting my teeth. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it takes this is such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. That is awesome. Mark is the caregiver. Brings my heart to so much joy. Brings back the days when I was a caregiver to mom. God, mom, rest your soul. I love you. Alright, Marcus. Put Mr. Car in his wheelchair. Away we go. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm -hmm. Any news from the Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you hey. You're welcome. Who doesn't love bacon and eggs for breakfast? It's a perfect breakfast on a weekend. Bacon and eggs. This must be it. Eh. Smiley face on his mug. Oh, I miss doing things like this. Mr. Carl, your bacon and eggs is served. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Television. You're welcome. Don't forget your napkin. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Cool. Oh, okay. Let's figure out something to do. Find something to do. Oh, what do we have here? Hey, books. Well, let us read a book. Hey, cool. Let's read a book. What kind of books they got over here? Need Oats, Plato. Hey, Shakespeare. Good old Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. What are you reading? Uh, Macbeth. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. 
They rule our lives and we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Yeah. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. That's right. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Just like Let's life. Studio. Just like life itself. Couldn't have said it better myself, Carl. You never know when life takes its toll. So live your life to your fullest. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? Oh, he's a painter. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. We got it. Oh my. That's cool. So I said clean the studio. Only question is, what is there to clean? I mean, it is a na normal studio after all. Oh, there's actually something to clean. I'll be damned. I take back what I said. Well, I guess I was wrong. I guess there is stuff to clean around here. You just have to look. Hey, more area. Is that it, or is there more? More? Wow. I think that's everything. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Carl's done over there. So, what's, what's your, your verdict, Marcus? So, it's awesome. I like it. There is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Let's see if we can paint something. Cool. Find an object. Okay. Yeah, let's copy his painting. That'd be cool. Now, painting with a fingertip. Do everything with a fingertip. Nice, an identical copy. That is a perfect copy. not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that, it's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it, grab that canvas. 
it's not in your program, huh? Well, let's see if we can make something in your program. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Okay. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. So how I feel, I guess this is my personal decision. I guess I'll go with androids. And we'll go hope. Let's see what I can do. Come on, mouse pad. Yes, it takes a lot of concentrating more than you think. I hope I impress him. Holy fuck. That's something. Who's this guy? Hey, oh. Leo. It's Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, this is the neighbor that I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Okay. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it's, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No! No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. I'm sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a drug why. addict. <laughs> You'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Oh, God. Tell me, Dad, what's, what's a god that I know? Smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. More like you've been possessed or turned into a druggie to make you think that shit. <sighs> Poor Carl. Ah, well, there's Marcus for now. We certainly did a lot. And we certainly did a lot. Alright, let's go for our final chapter for part two. And that would obviously be... this guy Connor now Android loud more like screw you whoa okay so we have to find Mr. Anderson Mr. Lieutenant Anderson See if we can find Anderson. Jimmy Peterson. That's not who we want. Edward Dempsey. That's not who we want.
Hey, there he is, Lieutenant Anderson. Do this. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with the procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. That voice. I think I know who that is. I understand that some people are not I gotta confirm it to make sure. But I am perfectly comfortable. <gasps> now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. It's Dr. Cortex and Mr. Krabs. Clancy Brown. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Of course, this give give this man a drink. He's legendary. Clancy Brown, Mr. Krabs, Doctor Neo Cortex from the PlayStation One era. Yes, this guy is legendary. Did you say homicide? I sure did. Come with me. Sweet. Another investigation. Off. I'm gonna do everything I can to be nice with Mr. Brown. I don't need him going cortex banana on me. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I'm not staying in the car. I need to investigate. That's one thing I can't allow. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Got it. Even Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. Hey! So, you got yourself an android, huh? Fucking oh, very dick. funny. Just tell me what happened. I remember that shite. Go in. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. He stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, uh, stayed easy. Not worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Okay, so now we have to investigate the crime scene. Fine by me. 
Let's start examining. No fingerprints on the knife. Forgot he can do this. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Oh, okay, shit. Just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> dried up blood. So either way, it was dried. Each letter is perfect. It's way too. Or dried up blood on the floor. Human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? What do we got here? The Eden Club. Come visit us. I would say so. We're okay. taking samples for analysis. Nothing in here. Oh, we got some blood there. Red ice. More blood there. Seems our friend Carlos like the party. Chris, red I ice. Somebody found red guys. ice. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Who found red ice? Somebody find red ice I'm not aware of? Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? There it is. That stupid shit drug red ice. Victim was using drugs, of course. Of yeah, course. That's Regular letters from Cyberlife. Okay. This is, I am alive. Oh, jeez, poor guy. What happened to him? Uh, there's fingerprints on his hands. Twenty-eight knife wounds. Holy hell! What is this guy happening? What the hell happened to this guy? Oh, red ice coming out of there, so he was using drugs. Ortiz Carlos. Carlos Ortiz. Hey, let's find out what happened to him. So he was getting stabbed, so here's what happened. He fell here. Alright, so he fell. As he was coming this way, the victim was stabbed right there. So, it must have come from the kitchen, yep. So they came from the kitchen, so I gotta go back in there. He was stabbed 28, 28 times. times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Fucking A. 28 times. That is just... I don't know what to say. That's just... Crazy. Before we go in the kitchen, let's explore the bathroom. What's this? Excessive writing. RA9. Yeah, that's what it says. RA9. 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 Everywhere. RA9. RA9. Oh. What is this? Something that's not RA9? It's a religious offering. Okay. Save that for later, I guess. Now let's go in the kitchen. Fingerprints on the chair, so something happened here. Signs of a struggle. A struggle happened here. Oh, there's the missing knife. 
Murder weapon was taken from the wall. And check the back door. They said people were going out the back door, so Let's see if we actually went the back the back door. Really? He went out the back door, eh? I don't know. Footprints. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. A freaking smart android, man. So he didn't escape this way. Come on, guys, get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. So we're missing one we more thing. A baseball bat. What the heck's going on with a baseball bat? There's a dent in it. Oh, we got fingerprints. Nice, we get a story of what happened in the kitchen. So, what happened here? Oh, he grabbed the bat. I see. The android took the knife and the human grabbed the bat. Tried to hit the android with the bat. He was attacked through emotional shock. All right, we got everything. Let's report back to Lieutenant Anderson for our verdict. See what he thinks about this. And there he is. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The victim stabbed the android. Or the, the android, android stabbed, stabbed the, victim. the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. It doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Theory. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Oh. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Ah! Lucky android do you? Let's try, okay. Sorry if y'all heard that. Let's find some... Oh, what do we got here? Oh, it's everywhere. Yeah, we got some areas to explore, so... Yeah, right here. 
Really, a ladder was used. I didn't even see that. Whoa. So hold on a minute. Oh, I see it now, the ladder. Did we go up? We found him. Found him, found him. Okay, I gotta grab a chair. Can you, yep. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Yeah. Mr. Cortex. Check something. Or I should say Mr. Cram, Mr. Cortex, whatever. Mr. Clancy Brown. Ooh. Who do we have up here? Let's find out who's here. There's gotta be somebody right there. And... Save your life! Oh. Okay. Manny Quinn saved my life. It was the Manny Quinn. Manny Quinn. Okay. Keep looking. Hey, 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 hey! I saw that. Somebody's here. You got some. What the fuck is going on up there? You got some talking to do in the questioning room. It's here, Lieutenant. That a boy. Oh shit! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. Mission accomplished. Woo! Wow, look at that. Connors found the deviant or the android. Lucky, lucky Connor. You gotta pay attention to him and his thinking skills. Or whatever skills these androids got. Man, these stories are getting to be pretty interesting. But unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for now for part two. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of Detroit Become Human. Stay tuned for part three. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more future epic gaming and CTR content. From yours truly, Terry Games, signing out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.